Hey guys, so we're gonna do a comparison of some of these cylinders. These are for the uh, O2 2011 Yamaha Zuma two stroke. These will also work on a lot of the Chinese clone uh, Minarellis as well. You just have to make sure your pin, piston pin size um, and your pipe orientation. So if you got any questions, just let us know. So these are kind of some of our personal favorites and, and uh, best sellers. I'm gonna kind of explain the difference between all of them and why uh, some are not created equal. So if you're um, more budget oriented, just want something cheaper, or uh, I shouldn't say cheap, but simple, less money, you're not looking for anything crazy. Um, these two kits, uh, this one is really good. This NCY is a good bang for your buck. Um, these are all 70cc kits. So the cast iron two ring cylinder comes with a head, gaskets and, and whatnot as well. So this is really reliable. Cast iron is nice because it can be rebuilt. You can bore it and uh, hone it out and whatnot. So it's more susceptible to scratches because it doesn't have a Nicosil coating. Like this is a Nicosil coating, but you can't rebuild this. You can do rings and you can do rings and piston, but well, you can rebuild it. It's just really costly. It's more than the cost of cylinder to get the Nicosil coating. The Nicosil coating is this coating in here. So again, cast iron, um, cast iron is, is my suggestion for uh, beginners or people that uh, want a little bit more of a bulletproof bore, I should say. They both have their uh, ups and downs and their pros and cons. So um, this is an aerosol kit, really, really mild kit. Um, it's under a hundred bucks, but you can see it's very, um, very basic, but good kit for the money. It's hard to beat. The NCY is just a little over a hundred bucks. We've had really good luck with these kits. Um, Again, your gaskets, your pin, two ring cylinder. It's a really nice cylinder for the money for sure. So uh, we do a lot of these in customers' bikes local here. Next is the Polini Contessa. Actually, this one's a Corsa, but I didn't bring both out because they, they essentially look the same. This this one is, is my personal favorite just because I have seen these things go through um, hell and back. I've tracked them. Um, I, these things are just bulletproof. So... Uh, these are kind of our personal favorite um, <clears throat> two ring design as well they make in the range of 10 to 11 and a half 12 horse somewhere in there you can be they can be ported but they have a really nice fit and finish they have a really good track record um, I have yet to see one fail the only ones that have failed have been because of uh, tuning errors air leaks and whatnot so the course and Contessa are 160 to 225 ish depending on which one you choose or where you purchase it obviously you're going to purchase from us right here right there so next is the melosi cast kit um i would say this kit is comparable to uh to the contessa i think the quality is not quite as good on the melosi compared to the Polini. So I would kind of place this kit actually somewhere between the NCY and the Polini as far as uh, quality goes and horsepower. Um, so these two really should be in different places. And it's not its not gonna be that these are not good quality, it's just that they're all gonna perform a little bit different. So, so again, you're probably, you know, seven horse. Uh, we dyno this, this is probably about eight and a half this, depending on which, which one you get, is probably going to be 9 to 11, depending on which model you get. The cast is probably going to be somewhere between 9 and 11 as well. Um, next is going to be the Stage 6 Street Race. This is a, um, a, an extremely good kit for the money. It's a two-ring cast iron cylinder as well. Um, really, really hard to beat for the money on this guy. Really high quality kit. I know a lot of guys running this. They're really tough. I like the fact that they're two ring as well. Um, this is gonna be, and again, it depends on the pipe and whatnot, but this is gonna be uh, a same or a little bit more horsepower than the Corsa um, for less money. So next is gonna be your stage six MK2 Sport. These, if you're good at tuning, these are, these are extremely good. These are, uh, these are in the realm of I believe 14 horse power, but if you don't know what you're doing or you're not really experienced um, with tuning, you don't have all the proper parts, this is going to be a hard board to tune um, and you'll be more likely to melt the piston or whatnot 
basically the higher horse the higher horsepower boards you get the more risk you run into they can be extremely reliable but if you're not really good um, and well versed in tuning then you're gonna you're gonna have more problems with it just because uh, uh, they're gonna be more finicky when it comes to keeping them cool and uh, detonation and whatnot so again this is I believe around 14 13 14 horse you're in the 11 12 that guy should be swapped this is going to be somewhere around uh, 9 9 10 depending on which model you pick uh, 9 and 12 and these guys are probably mid sevens and uh, high high eights low nines probably somewhere in there for the NCY so <clears throat> these are up over 200 bucks and the next so these again these are all for stock stock stroke and one thing we should go over is these guys are all fine on your stock crank. The street race is going to be pushing. Um, you're going to be right on that limit. You're, you're, you're probably going to blow up your crank. It's a matter of time. These two, you got to have a crank for these. And I don't mean longer stroke. You just need a better quality crank because the RPMs these will see are just going to make your Zuma crank fall apart. So these are good for guys that don't want to mess with the crank. The Corsa is going to be right on that edge of, of whether you need a crank or not. Um, it may last a long time. The Melosi will be okay. The street race, you're probably going to be over that uh, edge of messing up your crank. MK2 Sport, need a crank. And this is the um, MK2 race. This thing is wicked for what for the cost. And this guy's 18, 17 to 19 horse, about what you see with this guy. And that's really impressive for the money. Single ring, uh, those things you can do 80 plus on these cylinders. So next thing I want to talk about is the importance of pairing the proper parts. So let's say, let's say you start out and you buy a uh, aerosol kit and you buy an aerosol kit and you buy a Yasuni Z to go with it. Well, let's say you, you get sick of the power and you want to go to a street race. Okay. The street race may turn on at I don't know, maybe 10,000 RPM or 9,500, where your Yasuni Z that you're running with this is going to be dead before this bore even turns on. So now you've got a pipe, you've got a pipe design for one cylinder and you're working it with this one. So you're kind of wasting your money. If you don't have the right pipe and the right carb paired with the right cylinder, you're throwing your money away. For instance, if you buy a C16 or C21, say you buy a C21 exhaust from Yasuni or a Polini Evo, you put it on a Melosi cast, same same thing. The Melosi cast is gonna run out of power because each one of these bores have a range of where they make power. So this, I'm just gonna throw out figures. This could be 75 to maybe 9,000. This NCY may be 8,500 is a sweet spot. The Contessa maybe nine, the cast maybe, 90 100 90, 200 or something like that somewhere in there and then you start going up and up so if you've got a pipe if you've got a pipe you're running on one of these kits that shuts off at 9000 rpm because that's what they're designed to do or shuts off at 9500 rpm then and you put it on one of these bores now you've got a bore that's capable of spinning to say 13000 rpm but your pipe is done before you even get to 9500 so I can't stress the importance of making sure your carburetor size right, your pipe is sized right to the cylinder. Um, give me a second here. I will grab a couple pipes. Okay, that's a Yasuni R exhaust. So, like for instance, Yasuni R, I would use on this guy, this guy, the Melosi, or the Contessa. So I wouldn't use the R. You can use it on a Corsa, but the Corsa is best with a C16. I would use a C16 for the street race. And then up here, I would use a 16 or a C21, and definitely the C21 on this guy. So again, if you've got a, let's say you've got a, uh, a 19 millimeter carb you've got limitations what's going to limit your horsepower you're going to make is going to be your cylinder your pipe and your carb for the most part if you've got a stock carb and you're running you know a street race or one of these guys 
um, you're going to be limiting what the bore can do. So you want to make sure, like for instance, these guys I may run a, you know, the good for these are good for stock stock carbs. These will work great on stock carbs. Stock carb. These guys won't work good on the stock carb. Um, you know, this guy may run a, a 21 or 24 depending on the setup. Uh, this guy I've run a 19 to 21 street race. 19 to 21, the Velocity cast, 19 to 21, uh, the, well, you could run a 17.5 with that too if you want, but it just depends on if you want more top end or you want more throttle response, if you're concerned about fuel economy, uh, the, the Corsa, 19 or 21 would be my pick, the NCY, probably stick with the 19, the aerosol, 17 and a half, probably would be the best for that, so, um, just trying to explain the differences between these kits. Uh, these are the most common ones. These are all really good quality kits. Um, there are a lot of kits that we can get. Uh, there's probably, for the Zuma, there's probably 150 different cylinders, but these are kind of the main ones um, we have really good luck with, and um, we've personally ran all these in here as well. So, let's see. Uh, I think that's about it. Some of these kits, um, Come with some extra things. Uh, let's see. So, for example, the NCY does not use an O-ring head gasket, and that's what you're going to find in the kind of entry level kit. It uses one of these guys. Very similar. It's a lot of uh, what Taiwan kits do. Aerosol going to be the same way. You don't have an O-ring. I'm a big fan of the O-ring, um, but if you use these, just use a sealing agent to seal up that head gasket. Corsa Contessa use an O-ring which is really nice. The Melosi cast, O-ring, which is awesome. Stage six, O-ring gasket. Of course, these guys are both O-ring as well. So when you're spending money, you're getting uh, more quality, you're getting better pistons, you're getting better design. Um, so it's not, it's not just about the brand name, it's about the actual uh, design and parts that come with these kits. The Corsa comes with reeds, it comes with a spark plug, it comes with a wrist pin bearing, where these other kits, they don't come with reeds. Um, they don't come with reeds or wrist pin bearing. So if you're changing that stuff out and you already have it, no big deal, but that is one thing nice that the, that the Corsa does uh, for guys is include those parts. So um, as with any kits, I suggest using, I use Honda Bond or, or Permatex on this base gasket on both sides. Make sure your gas, your surface is really clean. If you get an air leak, you're gonna have a problem with any of these kits. The O-rings are gonna seal a lot better um, than these flat style gaskets. Not to say that these are gonna fail a lot, but I would, I would every once in a while, I would check this torque here and make sure these guys are tight. So hopefully that helps kind of explain some of these Zuma kits. Um, scenario is gonna be the same for your Piaggio, your vertical Zumas, um, your Dio and whatnot. Dio has way less selection, but um, all the theory is kind of the same uh, and if you're looking at different brand bikes then it's kind of kind of as long as you're looking at the same cylinder they're going to be roughly the same difference between all of these so um, if you guys need help setting up packages you can give us a call or email us that's kind of um, our claim to fame is understanding what we sell and putting them on bikes and dyno testing them and and you know I've personally tracked this cylinder hard really really hard um i've ran a bunch of these cylinders i've got um a bunch of buddies up in olympia that swear by these that love them i've got um a bunch of buddies that run these mk2s chris thaxton runs these i've got buddies that run this sheldon abbey runs one of these things they're rock stars are awesome that bike is from what i've heard is wicked fast uh these guys we run here on the adley we we kind of did that as a dyno test as well in one of our videos this I haven't personally ran myself, um, but I have a pretty good idea of, of what it does and, and where it shines. So um, anyway, so you guys got questions, you can post up um, or give us a call or whatnot if you have questions about setting up your build. But don't waste your money on just kind of shooting at random stuff and putting all together because if you're going to spend money on a build, you may as well have your pipe, your cylinder, and your carburetor um, properly uh fitted to each other to make sure you're getting the most for your money so if you guys got any questions let us know um thanks for watching